Dear students, our today's topic of discussion is cerebral lateralization and handedness. As we have studied in the previous sessions, the cerebrum of the brain is separated in the cortical region into two hemispheres, the right cerebral hemisphere and left cerebral hemisphere by a longitudinal fissure. In the medullary region, the hemispheres are connected by a prominent fiber tract which is called corpus callosum. The macrostructure of the two hemispheres appears to be almost identical, but there occurs difference in the composition of neural networks and hence there is difference in functional specialization in each hemisphere. The left hemisphere is functionally different from right hemisphere. This results in the development of cerebral lateralization. When considering a particular function, we can see that one cerebral hemisphere is functionally dominant over the other hemisphere. This is because one hemisphere is more responsible or entirely responsible for the control of a function in comparison to the other. This doesn't mean that the other hemisphere is non-functional or less functional. It is assigned with other functions. Cerebral lateralization only means that when considering a particular function, one hemisphere is dominant over the other hemisphere since it is assigned with other functions. For example, when considering language functions, the left hemisphere is more functionally specialized than the right hemisphere. Now coming to localization and lateralization. Is there any difference? First, let us see what is localization. Localization means that different cognitive abilities and behaviors are localized in specific parts of the brain. As we have seen in the previous classes, there are different cortical areas and each cortical area is assigned with a special function or in other words, each cognitive ability is localized in specific cortical areas. Then how is it different from lateralization? Lateralization means that some cognitive functions are primarily localized in one side or one hemisphere of the brain so that that hemisphere becomes functionally dominant over the other hemisphere with regard to a particular function. When we speak about lateralization, you have to also understand that cerebral functions are contralateral. That is, right hemisphere controls the left side of the body and left hemisphere controls the right side of the body. This is because the two hemispheres receive contralateral input, that is, information from the opposite side of the body. Lateralization is a gradual process and it is acquired during the development of brain. That is, during development, the right and left hemispheres acquire specialized functions and become functionally different from the other hemisphere. Now let us see what are the functional specializations of the two hemispheres. First, let us see about left cerebral hemisphere. Language related motor functions such as speech, reading and writing are the functional specialization of left cerebral hemisphere. There is a speech center and writing center in the left hemisphere. Likewise, auditory processing of spoken language is also the function of left hemisphere. When I am speaking, you are hearing my voice and the spoken language is processed in the auditory cortex of your left cerebral hemisphere. Left cerebral hemisphere is also concerned with judgments and mathematical calculation. Visual processing of written language is also done by the left cerebral hemisphere. Now coming to the right cerebral hemisphere. Tactile recognition of complex spatial patterns or recognition of objects by touch is the function of right cerebral hemisphere. Auditory processing of music is the function of right cerebral hemisphere. 
recognition of faces and spatial relationships is another function of right cerebral hemisphere. Visual analysis and recognition of complex geometrical patterns and shapes is also the function of right cerebral hemisphere. So, we can see that left hemisphere is functionally dominant with regard to sequential and analytical reasoning whereas right hemisphere is functionally dominant in visual spatial processing. Hence, the left hemisphere is called categorical hemisphere and right hemisphere is called representational hemisphere. We can summarize the functions of the two hemispheres like this. Left hemisphere or categorical hemisphere is specialized for spoken and written language, sequential and analytical reasoning that involves maths and science and analyzing data in a linear way. Right hemisphere or the representational hemisphere perceives information more holistically. It receives information in a complete manner. Perception of spatial visual relationships and analysis of complex patterns, then imagination and insight, music and artistic skills, these are the functions of right hemisphere or the representational hemisphere. There are evidences for lateralization of cerebral function. Imaging techniques like positron emission tomography and functional magnetic resonance imaging reveal that there is more brain activity in the left hemisphere than the right hemisphere during language related activities. Similarly, when listening to music, there is more activity in the right side of the brain. There is also anatomical evidence for lateralization of cerebral functions. Planum temporale is part of Wernicke's area. It is concerned with language comprehension or auditory processing of language. This planum temporale is larger on the left side of the brain which indicates that the left brain is more concerned with language related cognitive functions. Now let us see whether there is any relation between speech or language laterality and handedness. Nearly all right-handed people have their left hemisphere dominant for speech. But most of the left-handed or ambidextrous people, that is people who can use both right and left hands equally well and at the same time, they are also left hemisphere dominant for speech. If there is any damage to the left hemisphere at an early stage in development, then the right hemisphere will become dominant for speech and the left hand will be preferred. With that, we finish today's class. Thank you.